Hey guys, welcome back, or Bomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO content. Now, welcome to the week three of Fan Deck Fridays. You guys have been really, really liking Fan Deck Fridays, and I greatly appreciate it. If you guys missed yesterday's upload of Day 2, another series I'm trying out on the channel where I replay decks, that one got a lot of support. Apparently, people really like Lapras, which I'm a fan of, because I think Lapras is one of my favorite decks that come out of Sun and Moon. So, um, yeah, go be sure to check that out. Um... But yeah, today we're doing Fan Deck Friday, and let me tell you guys, I went to the Facebook group to go look up, uh, look at, uh, look at all the decks. Now, besides the one guy who I did for last week's Fan Deck Friday, who left like a million deck lists, which I support by the way, I'll be sure, uh, which I, uh, which I appreciate by the way, I'll be sure to check out those deck lists and play them on the channel when I get a chance. But there was a couple of you guys that left some really like heat suggestions. Like somebody left me uh, Lunala Needle King Break, which sounds clunky and crazy, and I can't wait to play that at some point. Another guy left me um, a bunch of expanded lists, which I will be doing expanded soon. I think the next video will be expanded, so drop a like if you want an expanded deck list. Or drop a like in general if you like the channel um i just finished recording that giveaway so i'm all hyped up you know <laughs> it's literally right afterwards but um today we're playing a little something a little bit cheesy a little yellow uh, a little bit of green a little bit of evolutions you guys know how much i like my evolutions but um a lot oh yeah somebody else made hacks versus the issue with a lot of these lists is that um i don't have the cards for them yet so i'm going to be getting the cards for them and eventually uploading a video with um with um with with the deck list that you guys gave me for fan deck friday but if you guys want to leave me deck list for fan deck friday leave them in the, as a paste in the comments below dm me on twitter or you can go follow the facebook group which i will add you in because it's just an, it's an invite thing i'll add you in it and you guys can leave deck lists on the on the on the group itself that everybody can play with and stuff like that but we're playing with uh, Patrico. I think that's how you say your name, dude. I don't know your username people if you want to let me if you want me to call you by your youtube username let me know um but I don't want to call people by their full name. I'm pretty sure this is the last name. So I'm going to call you Patrico, dude. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below who you are. Because like it's kind of hard for me to like, you know, figure out who they are based on their real name. And I don't want to say their real names on the channel. But um, yeah, check it out. <laughs> We're playing Evolutions Galvantula with a 2-2 Bisharp Lion and Wobbuffet <laughs> with a Bayonet. <laughs> <laughs> so much there's so much to this deck list i have to even i haven't even taken a good look at it yet um so i'm pretty excited to see how this all works let's go ahead and take a look at the deck list now we already know that what these do played them plenty of times on the channel um but you know what i'm gonna do real quick i'm gonna change this ev to the newer ev oh there is one d difference i added a fourth sycamore and took out a galvantula only because i didn't have a uh fourth galvantula but i'm actually gonna put in the new ev um because it's better because you can draw. That's the only reason why it's better. That the ability to draw is so much nicer. But uh, I'm gonna. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Not yet. Not yet. We got one Eevee with one Flareon and one Ponyard. Now this is cool. Um, or I'm sorry, one of the Porion. Because you can. You have all these stage two attackers that can hit for super effective on the field. So, or stage one attackers. So, that's cool. It helps things like the. Um, Ponyard and Bisharp. Now, before I forget, I gotta go over Ponyard's attack. Charge order. Attack does 10 damage times the number of, of your Ponyard. So I guess it could do 20 damage. <laughs> Something to keep in mind. And we also play Bisharp. Now, we play Bisharp because of Retaliate. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out by a damage from your opponent's attack during his or her last turn, this attack does 60 more damage. So it can do 90 damage, which can be boosted by Kakui, which means 110 damage. And with super effective from either Dark, Steel, um, fire or water you can hit for all sorts of weakness meaning you can do up to 220 damage which is enough to knock out things like belted volcanian so i like bisharp i think bisharp is pretty dope um so we have the bisharp we also have a one line of joltic which has for four lines of four joltics because that's free retreat which is a really good starter and three galvantula should have been four but you know how it is and we use it for double thread this attack does 30 damage to two of your opponent's bench pokemon apply weakness and resistance which means that we could hit for all sorts of weakness for 60 damage. Um, I don't know if Kukui actually increases damage because there's not a number next to it. 
but I, I think it does, right? I'm pretty sure it does, which means I guess we could do like 100 damage to bench Pokemon, which is really, really, really cool. I can't wait till Choice Band comes out to make this deck even better. But we are playing a 4-3 line of that, and we are playing a 1-1 line of Shuppet Bayonet. Now, to be completely honest, I don't know why this is in the deck. I can see that you want to turn off balloons. I can see you want to turn off float stones. I can see you want to turn off belts, um, which is cool. But then he plays like experience share and balloons. <laughs> so it throws me off a bit, but it's pretty dope. I just have to play smart. I have to decide when I want to drop that. Um, but we also play psychic energy. So Bayonet can attack as well, as well as Wobbuffet. Now Bayonet is a stage one, which means he can hit for weakness. So Psy Shot is a thing, but we also have Wob for ability lock. Now Wob for ability lock is really cool because when you're active, you don't actually need evolutions to be active. Their abilities that is. So um, <clears throat> Bide Barricade comes into effect, turning them off. It's a great starter, which is why we have three of them. And then Psychic Assault is just a good attack. It does 10 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. When you finish spreading damage out with things like Avantula or like probably missing knockouts because of Bisharp, um, <clears throat> Wobbuffet can always get a knockout. It's a really nice, bulky Pokemon. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, and then everything else is kind of support, I guess. Um, we don't play any Float Stones in this deck which means we're just gonna let our own Pokemon get knocked out if they get stuck in the active, not much we can do. But they all are like one energy attackers, so we can probably play around a lot of it. We are playing with one eco arm to put back our train or our uh, tool cards. One enhanced hammer because it's a good card. <clears throat> Two escape ropes, which is our methods of switch. Um, we are playing with one super rod. I put back some energies, I'm assuming. Um, how many? Uh, three trainer mails because it's trainer mail. Um, four ultra balls. Uh, four VS Seekers, my boy knows. All right, we have one Team Aqua Secret Base. Now this is a card I actually wanted to play with for a long time, and I just got it. It's my only copy I have, so I want to get more. I definitely need to get three more of these. But the retreat cost of each Pokemon in play, except for Team Aqua's Pokemon, is one more, which makes it so much harder for Pokemon to switch out, which means that it helps against things like Greninja, because Greninja can't just switch between um, their two people. They have to like use an ability, um, to discard an energy, attach, retreat with the one energy cost, uh, and then use their ability again, and they can't attach for the second time in that game. So like, it, it, it makes it a little bit more difficult for them, which means they have to dig for their stadium. So I like Team Aqua Secret Base. I want to play more if I can get my hands on more. Luckily, his list only had one, but this is not my list. This is this is somebody else's list, which is what I've been asking for. Not deck, not deck ideas, but your actual list. And I can't wait to give it a try. As far as supporters go, we play two Lysander because Lysander is Lysander. Four ends, one Kikui, and four Sycamore. It's because it's a budget deck. It's nice to have all that thick draw supporting line. We play with one teammates because our Pokemon are going to be knocked out, and teammates is the king when it comes to that. We are playing three Bursting Balloons to add damage, one Experience Share just to put energy back. Probably gonna put that on Bayonet more than anything, but Bayonet turns off abilities, so I can't do that. Never mind. <laughs> and uh, I believe that says five. No, this is eight, eight psychic energies. I'm pretty excited to play this list. It looks like a lot of fun. It's cheesy. He called it the he called it a cheese deck, so I'm calling it cheesy. Patrico's cheese, dude. What's up, Patrico? How you doing today, my man? If you guys haven't already, be sure to drop a like on this video for Fan Deck Friday. If you guys want to leave me a deck list down below, please do because I am running low on interesting deck lists to play on the channel. Try to make it a little bit more like inclined on Sun and Moon. I have a lot of deck lists that are like nothing to do with Sun and Moon. Which is kind of boring to me because I'm trying to trying to explore all the reaches of Sun and Moon right now. And expanded, don't. And if you guys want to leave me some expanded lists, please do. Uh, it'll be. I have to get back to expanded, so I, don't, I mean, might as well just throw myself in there, right? We have found an opponent. He's playing Dark Fighting Colorless. Don't know what that is. I I, I don't know unless it's like Zorak Zygarde, which is something I tried a long time ago. It's a lot of fun. But I also have an uh, I have a code to give out during today's videos, and we don't have a Pokemon to start with. And he is playing Silent Lab. Silent Lab does not really affect us, except for our Wobs. It looks like he's playing Tyranitar Zoark. Um, now, we don't hit any Dark types for weakness, um, because we don't have any Fighting type cards. So I have to be careful about how I start this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lead with this. I'll probably put the Shuppet down, because that means no Float Stones for him. So I'll put down the Shuppet. We have an end to start the game too, so if he doesn't end us, we'll be, we can we at least have like a draw supporter. Which is really all you could ask for from a budget deck. He's playing Darkrai or Orin Guru as well. That's so random. So we saw Zoark, we saw Tyranitar, and now there's Darkrai and Orin Guru. This is crazy. My Elo should be pretty decent too. Um, Cause I did stream 
I played a lot of games. Dark seems kind of scary. He's going to end us, which is good because I was going to play N regardless. So that actually works out for us. Maybe we'll get another N or a Sycamore. Um, we have to be careful though because they can set up in our face. All right, cool. So Nest Ball, we have a Pawnyard, we have a Sycamore, we have a Psychic Energy, we have a Bursting Balloon. So if he wants to like get crazy with us and attack, we can... Um, because I want to play Sycamore this turn anyway, so... Oh, I'm losing, I'm losing a Super Rod, but that's whatever, I guess. Let me go ahead and attach here, because I have nothing else I really want to do. Oh, but I'm losing... Oh, I'm going to lose an Escape Rope. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll play, we'll play Super Rod, we'll play Sycamore here, I mean... Just to set up the field a little bit more. We have a pretty decent turn for next turn. I can set up all of these babies. I'll hold on to that for now, and I will pass. Hopefully I can get an energy next turn, that'd be kind of nice, just so I can set up my Pokemon. Um, the thing is, this doesn't help us too much this game, um, because it doesn't do anything. We have this, which, make it, which makes it a lot harder for retreating, but I'm going to hold on to that for now. Let me play this, I want to see what we can do. We have an N, N is okay, I guess. Have I discarded an N yet? Let me actually look at what's going on here. I have, so I don't actually need to do this in case I want to sick more this turn. I haven't gotten rid of a Via Seeker yet either, and we don't have a Lysander down there yet either. So we have all these things I kind of want to put in the discard pile. So I'm actually going to put them in the discard pile. <laughs> um, I could also Psychic Assault for 30 if I get an energy, but I'm relying on getting an energy off Kukui, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to uh, do my thing. And I didn't get an energy anyway, so we can evolve. Uh, I could play Escape Rope, but I don't have an energy yet, which is kind of lame, I guess. Let me put an energy on. Let's put it. Let's put it on you. Makes life a little bit easier for everybody. Uh, we have an N. If we even do Link with us, it's going to be kind of annoying. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pass my turn. I think. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. I don't want to be delinquented and lose my draw supporter because I don't play Orin Guru or Rem Raid or anything. That looks like he can start attacking us, which is kind of annoying. Uh, he's going to play N, so that works out for us. Uh, but he's gonna do 60 damage to us, uh, 80 damage because of our energy attachment. Which is a little bit annoying. I'm hoping he puts down like something that can be easily knocked out. I can 2 it KO. He has Tyrantar EX. What is his deck list? Did he just want to play a bunch of dark cards? I'm confused. There's a Spirit Link. Hmm. He's gonna Psychic us for 80. We lost our thing. We also don't have another energy card yet. Uh, I can't play Sycamore. I want to keep these cards around. I don't know if I should attach a balloon yet. Because I might lose. This thing is weak to fighting. We, oh, everything's weak to fighting. We can't do anything about it. I don't want to play the eco arm quite yet. So let me go ahead and just do this and play N. I'm giving him more cards as much as it sucks, but whatever. We can make do. Well, there's our energy. Um, if he attacks us, we do a hundred. Oh, we can actually knock him out next turn, right? No, we can't. We have to. We have to attach here to weaken him so that we can knock him out next turn with Bisharp, because Bisharp can uh, Kakui and get a knockout, right? So it's gonna do ninety damage, and here we're doing ten. So no one. Yeah, that's gonna be a knockout that way. All right. Let's go ahead and Psychic Assault. I want to get another Bisharp down. I feel like Bisharps are kind of like inherently better in this deck list. Because you're going to be letting a lot of your Pokemon be knocked out. He got a Zoark, but he can't use his ability. We also have Wob that we can put down next turn. He has all these max glitches. This is, this is, we're going to be, this is not good. This is not, doesn't have a good matchup against speed decks. <laughs> because they can just take knockouts turn by turn. This has a really bad matchup against dark decks too. Uh, because there's not really a lot of Pokemon they can put down that can help that can um, put us in a better position, I guess. Because there's not a lot of things that we can hit for weakness, you know. He doesn't attack us, which is really really nice. You can oh whoops hold on oh, I hate when this happens. Go away, stupid freaking. Okay, thank you. You guys didn't see that. Um, <laughs> let me attach an energy here. Well, I want to, I have to keep the Seeker, right? So I guess I'm just going to keep going for Psychic Assault. Um, yeah, sure. We'll just keep going for Psychic Assault. Now, now we don't actually have to get Kikui. 
which is nice because we can play things like N if he knocks us out, put him down a couple cards. We can Lysander around too. I want to spread damage so I can knock things out with Wob. I have to keep that in mind. Luckily though, if he knocks us out, well, we can't actually go into Joltik because now it has a one retreat cost. I have to be very careful about that. He can do that though. That's a little bit annoying. Psychic for knockout, which is fine. We just knock him out with Bish. Um, and we can, ah, oh, but now I don't want to play N. <laughs> All these things that happen. Um, let me go ahead. I actually kind of want to get, um, no, there's not a point yet. I'll wait, I think. I, Cause I want to get, what's his name, right? I want to get Bayonet, but I can wait a turn. Let me do this. No point in Lysandering, right? We'll keep the Via Seeker around. For now, I'm just going to retaliate for Knockout. I haven't tried to put down an Eevee yet. There's no real reason to. Um, there's Vaporeon. Doesn't really help us. These things are uh, these things resist Psychic, something to keep in mind. He's going to do a lot of damage to us. Um, which is kind of annoying. But, like, I can't really do much about it. Mind Jack is hitting for 160. I can hit this for weakness at the very least. This is gonna—it's still gonna be hitting really hard though. So let me go ahead and do this. I guess I can play N now because why not, right? Let me go ahead and do this. Let me do this. Let's play the N. Yeah, we'll play N. I don't have to play Eco Arm yet. I think we're safe for the time being. Let's see what end gets us. Uh, we can get Galvantula or Joltik. I mean, or Bisharp, I mean. Probably Bisharp next turn, so we can knock this thing out. But for now, let's double thread. Let's go ahead and hit this and this. So we hit that for weakness, hitting it for 60, which means... I really want to test out the Kikui theory, because I actually don't know if that's how it works. He's going to play the Silent Lab, which means... Oh, which means that like I can no longer turn off his um, sh his uh, Zoark. That kind of sucks. Mind Jack is gonna knock us out. We can actually go out to Joltik now because it has free retreat again. Let me go ahead and do that. But yeah, he's like way ahead in prizes, and there's not really much I can do about it. Let me set up a thing. Let me double. Can I double Ultra Ball? I can't double Ultra Ball. Um, let me do this. Let's grab a um. A Bisharp, if it's not prized, dope. Uh, let's grab Bisharp. We can play Sycamore here. Now this should be a knockout range. This is a threat, we can't really do anything about that. Let me play Sycamore first though. Let's see what we get off the Sycamore. Uh, we get another Joltik, which is pretty nice. We get a Teammates. I can actually put back the Balloons now, because I think we put back like three of them, right? Um, how many Balloons are gone? Three of them, dope. Let me, uh, how many per card? I put three. Yeah, let's go ahead and put back the three balloons. One, two, three. Um, we have a Joltik down again. We have Ultra Balls to get Galvantula, uh, which we can take advantage of later. But for now, let me go ahead and retaliate for Knockout. I have the Lysander around to beat Darkrai, though. Um, I kind of want to knock this thing out, but Breakground is just going to blow us away. Yeah, there's nothing we can do against Dark Decks. I can't think of a single thing. Like E Hammer doesn't help us that much, uh, unless we like top deck E Hammer. We can and then Lysander that. But now he has like three energy, so he would have three energy afterwards. So it's not gonna help us either. Dark Pulse is gonna hit us for a billion, and um, we don't have any more energy to attach to Wob, and Wob won't even help us that much either. Let me go ahead and do that for now. I can grab Galvantula. Uh, let's see what train. I don't think there's a way for us to win this. That's the issue. Let me grab Balloon. I guess we can like abuse a balloon, but we only have one balloon that we can abuse. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a way we can actually win this. I could Lysander. Because I have to grab Galvantula this turn, right? And then hopefully next turn get, get an energy to attach the Wob to... Uh, I want to knock out Titar. I'm not knocking out anything this turn. We go ahead and grab Galvantula first. Let me actually... 
I could ideally put Eveltal out to be stuck in the active and hope he doesn't have any more float stones. That's the thing I could do because it's like really my only play. <laughs> and like hope he's stuck for like five turns and then play end next turn. I think that's literally my only play though. So I think I'm gonna do that. We'll see what happens. Um, let me just double thread. We'll double thread them to death. To death, they have like a million HP, but we'll see what we can do. Hopefully, they don't get a float stone. Because if they get a float stone, then we're kind of boned regardless of what happens. <laughs> and they don't get any DCEs. There's a lot of things I don't want them to have right now. Hammers would be nice in this deck list, though. Uh, hammers to uh, slow down the opponent. Crushing hammers and whatnot. Ah, oh, see there, he's a tower. He's attaching. Which means he can retreat next turn. See, this is why, like, if I had a hammer, I could get rid of this. I, I get rid of this energy. If I had a hammer, I could get rid of those energies too. Um, there's another Joltik. Let me go ahead and play the end, and hopefully he doesn't draw any cards. <laughs> the dreams, dude, the dreams. Um, if I can knock both of these out, that's game, but I have to knock them both out. It is going to be difficult. Uh, escape Rope could be a thing. Via Seeker for Lysander could be a thing. Um, I want to get another Galvantula. There should be one left, hopefully. Let me go ahead and double thread again. One, two. Don't have any energies, don't have any sycamores, don't have anything that you could use. Don't get it. Come on. Don't have it. He has hammer, that's bad. Oh, he, okay. Don't, don't have anything. Why does he play the one of hammer? That's so weird. Uh, N, I could end him again, but he seems to be pretty stuck, so not really a point in doing that. Let me try out the Kikui thing since I'm here, right? Might as well. Let's see what happens if I play Kikui. I just, I just really want to know what happens. Because I can play N to refresh um, with teammates. I, I hope this works, because that'd be dope if it does. Let's see if it puts 50 damage on the board. Nope, it doesn't work. Okay. Good to know for the future. But this is about to be knocked out. This is getting severely weakened. I want to set up Wobbuffet, because Wobbuffet can actually take out, uh, take the remaining prize. He has one too many cards I don't want to deal with. Let me actually attach this here. Do I play N now? He seems to be stuck. But the more cards he gets, the less stuck he's going to be. But I don't know if it's worth it yet. I don't know if I have Galvantula in the deck list. Let's find out, actually. Right? Might as well. I know I'm wasting this, but I want to know. All right, we do have Galvantula in the deck list. We also have another balloon. Cool. All right, so we know it's in the deck. But we don't have any more energies. And we Oh, no, we're dead. We lose. But once this Galvantula goes down, we actually lose. Because we don't have any more energies or any way to get energies. Which means we have to get a knockout <laughs> and hope to God to get an energy off it. Because there's one, two here. And um, there is... We have eight energies all together, right? There's four there, which means we have two energies prized. <laughs> he has the experience share, which he's dropping. That's it, right? Nothing else? Thank you. Um, all right, let me play down Galvantula. I got to be careful with how many cards I play. But we're going to get a knockout, right? We get a knockout on Tyranitar. Thank you. We could win this game. We could have just ch uh, cheesed our way to victory. <laughs> we could win this game. I think we actually have a chance if I get a prize here. There's a 50% chance of me getting a prize. Actually, I think there's 75. Thank you. Okay. So, I think we win this game with Wob. So, no matter what happens here, we should be able to win this game. <gasps> oh my god. We don't have any more Seekers, I think. I'm attaching this now and hoping that he doesn't get an energy. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and ta should I attach this? Mm, I have Lysander right here, what am I talking about? I can just win right now, right? Oh my god, we just won! Hey, that's dope! Oh my god, we just won. That's crazy. GG, that was amazing. I can't believe we actually went through that, dude. Wobba fits so cool in this deck. Look at that. Even after resistance. <laughs> he still has to do experience share too. That's wild. That's wild. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and get another game then. <laughs> that was funny. I'm not going to lie. Let's get one more game for the video. God, that was terrifying. Even whenever we can't hit for weakness, dude. That's insane. Normal. Straight normal. What is he playing? Dragonite? But then you usually play like things like Unknown in that deck, right? What else plays? Is it just straight Tauros? Tauros with like nothing else? Tauros Lugia? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this is. This is crazy. I'm, I'm scared. Okay, we got a pretty decent start. Oh, no, we don't. Never mind. We have a really bad start. 
Oh god, please end me, dude. Just end me. End me for victory. <laughs> or for my victory, I should say. Alright, he's playing Fairy Energy, he's playing Kakui, he's playing... I mean, he's not playing Xerneas, is he? I mean, we didn't see Fairy, we just saw straight colors. Usually you play Xerneas to accelerate energy on the field. He seems to have a lot of energy acceleration, and he's choosing to go the free retreat route, which means he's probably playing a lot of heavy Pokemon. I can think of Tauros, I can think of, um... I can think of Lugia. That's the only thing I can think of, really. And he's not playing any Psychic-type attackers. I guess it's just because, you know, no matter what, they can't hit you. You can't hit for weak. I don't know, it's weird. I guess you can't hit for resistance, but they can still hit you for weakness, right? Let's draw my two cards, something good. Oh, it sucks. We'll go ahead and put down a Joltik. Um, at the very least, though, we can hit him for weakness if he is playing Lugia. That's something to keep in mind. If he's playing Dragonite, we also hit him for weakness. I don't know what he's playing, though. Maybe he's playing straight Owen Guru. <laughs> Owen Guru Disruption. I don't know. This is weird. Um, I don't know how I feel. Except for weird. I feel weird. That's how I feel. He's playing Skyla to get Ultra Ball. So he's probably going to play Shaman here. Maybe. I mean, Shamans are good for me, right? Because I get to snipe them. So I want to get Galvantula as soon as I can. More Orin Gurus. I, I mean, you wouldn't be playing Shaman in a deck like this, right? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't like feeling confused. I don't like this feeling. I'm not. Oh, all these Orin Gurus. Do you not play any other Pokemon? Is it literally just straight Orin Guru with like. I don't know. Let's see. If he pulls out a fourth Orin Guru. Oh, okay. Thank you. So he does play one good Pokemon. Oh, Tauros is so scary for this deck, too. I can't damage the Tauros. Because then, like, Rage is going to be blowing me away. And he plays Audino as well. Is he playing Mega Audino? Mega Audino is normal, right? It's not Fairy. That's wild. What does he place for Orin Guru? Somebody help me. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm emotionally lost right now. I, I, don't know how to, I don't know how to react to this. And the thing is, he can always attack me into my balloon and be okay, right? I'm going to play this down. I'm going to... I don't have any draw supporters right now. So I'm just going to attach here. I could I could force him. I think I have to play secret base because I, I have to force him to attach before retreating. I'm gonna pass. I'm I'm so stuck right now. I don't like this. Where's my orange guru, dude? Let's see what he can do. Because now he has to attach to retreat, right? So, like, we can't just sit here. So now... Oh, wait a minute. He has his, his own stadium. So he can actually retreat with that if he puts it down. He's going to Lysander. Is he going to Lysander the Ponyard? Yeah, he's going to knock out the Ponyard. He's just going to sit here and attack me. He's really going to do this right now. I'm going to put this out because I don't think he plays any tools. But you should, right? Like, where's my draw supporters, man? I hate clunking down like this. Give me my stuff. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna grab Galvantula. Like I'm done with this. Give me Galvantula. He can't he can't Oko Galvantula. Um I'll have to pass. Like I can't do anything. I don't wanna play down balloon yet. I don't have a reason to. Let me just pass. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like being clunked down like this, man. Where are my shamans? If I had shaman in the deck, I could have gotten out of it. That's why people play shaman. Because of the ultra ball, you could get, I would have been able to draw. He's going to acro back again. He's really going to go through his deck like this. I'm so confused. What is he even trying to get? Is he just going to attack me a bunch with Orn Guru? Is that like his plan? Is that his master plan? He tossed a VS Seeker. So I guess he got a Sycamore. He got another Skyla. He's not even... How many Skylas does this man play? This man has played three Skylas so far? Just to get a fairy garden? What is what is happening? What is happening to my life right now? <laughs> I need to go make me some tea. I can't handle this. I can't actually handle this. What's going on? Oh my god. Stop this. My my life hurts. He plays three Skyla. He's probably playing four Skyla, dude. This is the strangest deck I've ever seen. And before you say anything, it's not working. If this was a regular deck, I had shame and I could have set up a lot more. Uh, this is a budget deck. Oh my god. The death. The deaths are happening. Where's my where's my Bisharp? I need my stuff. I need my stuff. How did he get a Oh man, I'm upset. Alright, we're okay. We're okay. We are okay. I need the top deck of Sycamore right now, please. Take your prize and let me go. Come on. 
All right, let me, give me, let me top deck that Sycamore. Sycamore top deck. All right, that's almost a Sycamore. Sycamore top deck. Oh my God. I am going to end myself. It's been it's been fun, guys. The YouTube channel has been pretty great. I am going to double thread. I'm gonna double thread this guy one time because it's not gonna put me in range of anything. I'm gonna pass, and I'm gonna hope I can't lose. I'm gonna hope I get the Sycamore top deck, dude. That's really all I can do. Even the end would be okay. He's gonna Kikui for knockout. That's wild. That's wild. He's actually gonna Kikui for knockout. Oh my god, somebody save me. This man actually knocks me out with Orin Guru. I'm about to get swept by an Orin Guru. I can't. I, I think I actually have to stop recording. This is today is not a good day to play Pokemon. You know how like sometimes you you like feel it? Like sometimes you're feeling the day, like you know, everything's gonna go right today. I have the exact opposite feeling right now. Everything's going wrong today, and it's because I'm being swept by an Oran Guru. This oh I'm about to say he he's about to put a belt on Oran Guru and make me feel some kind of way. <laughs> no. Don't do this to me, man. It's not that serious. Just draw your cards and he's like playing slow too. He's making me feel bad about this. He's made I played nine draw supporters and I didn't get a single one yet. I'm already 40 cards in. There's already 20 cards gone. Sorry, I had to go like in my own little world. And he retreated. He retreated so he could knock me out with horn attack. He got exact numbers too. And now he sweeps my whole team with rage. So that's cool. Thank you guys all so much for watching. <laughs> Top deck. <sighs> well, that was fun. I, I like not drawing cards. Uh, whatever. We showed off one cool matchup, and we showed off us getting destroyed. So you know what? That's that sounds like a fan deck Friday to me. <laughs> Uh, I don't have that much time today guys, which is why I actually have to end the video. I mean, it's already been 30 minutes, but like I do have to go. I have to get some work done today. So be sure to drop a like if you haven't already. Today is oh, tomorrow's Nintendo Switch release day. But the day I'm uploading this is Nintendo Switch release day. Let me know in the comments down below if you're getting a Switch and um, if you just don't want to spend the money <laughs> or anything, whatever like that. Here's the first, here's one of the craziest Fan Deck Friday submissions I've ever gotten. If you guys want to leave one for yourself, let me know. If you guys want to comment deck list I should play in the future, uh, if you guys want to see me play anything in specific, let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.